six inches wonderful so gents this is six inches ladies this is six inches just keep that in mind hey guys welcome back to the channel i'm warwick and you're watching gas tax today we're back in the rv my winnebago 2801 bhs with some more accessories so before we get started some more accessories arrived uh we have a vacuum a wee boost a different version to what i put in my other camper because i want to have the difference so i can tell you which one's better i got a tongue jack scale and then i decided to get another paper roll holder for the cooking area outside but today it's all about the bunkhouse. So right here is the main reason I have this camper is because the bunkhouse. The previous micro mini that I had, the 2306, had super narrow bunkhouses because it's a narrow camper. Now I have three kids, so these are full size kind of beds, so two kids can go in each of them. So I got room to have one more kid. Do I want another kid? No. Does my wife? Yes. So you know who runs the household. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice in that. But this camper has room for family growth, so I'm going to accessorize the bunk beds to keep my kids entertained. So let's go over what I got. Firstly, this bunk house does not have a ladder. My kids are not six feet tall, so that is a ladder. We're going to check it out. Over here. I have little desk organizers. These things I will mount to the walls. This is where they can keep their little knickknacks, pens, whatever, accessories, rocks. You know kids, they always collect rocks. That's what I'm going to mount to the wall. We have fans here to keep the air circulating. There's a vent up there, but there's no vent down here. So I, I'll put the fan right about here, maybe, so there can be some airflow in their bunks. My kids like the glow-in-the-dark stars because we're camping, so I'll install those and then we have a net so i have young kids and you know young kids they move a lot when they sleep my wife's paranoid they're gonna fall off this bed so the nets are there to keep them in and also uh when we're traveling we can throw like the snow gear or whatever up there so it doesn't fall all around so we will do that and then some fun i saw this for sale this is ring toss uh or tiki toss as you call it i like playing it my kids like playing it and then there's this wall i was going to use it for coat hangers but i'm going to use it for that so it comes with this retractable pole uh and we're going to install it right here probably amount at two different heights for myself and then for my kids yeah we went to camp so i need to keep them entertained inside as well let's jump in and see what we're working with so i think to get this ugly box out of the way let's open the ladder and see if it'll work all right so i haven't opened the ladder my wife wanted a rope ladder i kind of agree with the rope ladder so it's not something so big like this but I think the rope ladder will just be more of a hassle and we'll have to help the kids anyway. So far it looks good. It looks like there's these little clips. There's a link down below for everything I'm going over in this video. Let's see how this works and then I gotta figure out a place to store this. Alrighty, so that's how it looks. There's no real lip here so I want to cut some slots for this maybe. And then it's a bit too tall so I want to remove those feet and cut the pipe down a bit. Now, I can permanently mount this here, but if I do that, I definitely need my wife's input because I have an infant and my wife uh, puts the infant to sleep in here and then she has to climb in and out. So normally, I'll just do it and then I'll get yelled at later, but this one, I'm gonna call her and get her input and then we'll go from there. Ideally, it's mounted all the time, so then I don't have to move it, because I don't want to move it, but let me call her, and I'll get back to you. So I'm in the clear, because she didn't answer, so it's not my fault, it's her fault. I am actually just gonna cut this down and cut some slits in here, so we can actually fit the ladder right here. And then I'll check in with you. It is 33 degrees outside today, so the furnace is kicked on, so if you hear that, I apologize. So what I'm gonna do is take this measurement now, cut the bottom off, and then I'm gonna use this oscillating saw to cut little slots for this in here. And then I'm gonna cut the pipe using this pipe cutter. All righty, measure about six inches. I think that's about six inches right there. Just joking. Six inches. If I was smart, which many say I'm not, I would cut five inches, then double check and then cut another inch. But I'm not smart. Measure once, cut once. 
If you screw up, you figure it out afterwards. So if you haven't seen these things, these are pretty cool. You just put it on the pipe, twist it. Now it's cut a bit deeper, you twist this, and then turn it again, and it slowly just cuts its way through the pipe. Oops, six inches, wonderful. So gents, this is six inches. Ladies, this is six inches. Just keep that in mind. The foot. Factory new. Voila. Moment of truth. So, it is cut too much. That's only because these things are pushing it up right now. So now I'm gonna mark there and then I'm gonna use the oscillating saw, cut a little uh, slit in there so these fit in there and then I'll go over how I'm gonna secure this. Let me show you what I'm working with. So I flatten them out a little bit. There is a aluminum uh, stud in here to give this thing rigidity so I didn't want to cut into there so this is still just in the voided space behind that but then I did drill a hole for this push pin to make sure the ladder doesn't fall back so I think that will work out perfectly if I want to take it out I, I don't envision taking it out anytime I envision just leaving it uh, so that's how it'll be tucked away and if I need to remove it without any screws I just take this pin and throw it under there or wherever so let's open up these and see where we can mount them so as mentioned earlier these are desk organizers I had uh, different ones in my other camper that I liked my wife didn't like but I think she didn't like them because the bunks were small and the kids could hit them head but either way uh, they were sold out so I thought I would get these little ones add a little spice so I think that's a little cool. I think I got two different ones, but let me open the other one. Nope, I got the same ones. You know kids, if you get two different ones, maybe they like it, maybe they don't. But I think these ones were fun. You could get them in black or brown, but these ones look more kidsy with the drawing. So, what I envision them using this for. Firstly, they have a little drawer for whatever knickknacks they're keeping. Then pens and markers. And then also they collect junk iPads in here. So now I'm gonna figure out how and where to mount these. I decided to screw them to the wall. I put one screw here and one in the back. They're nice and sturdy. And right there, their heads go that side. So it's a great place and then it's out of the way. You don't see the mess here. Now one thing I need to do is get another handle and mount it here. Cause obviously you need to get up here and grab something. So I will try find this or I'll move this one. Ideally I want to keep here, otherwise there will be holes. So I'll put one right there. But now I want to mount the fans. So the fans are going by the USB. So here's a USB, so I don't know how I'll mount it. I'll figure that out. Here's the USB. So they'll both go mounting on the ceiling. All right, so inside the, the box, you got a uh, micro USB, you got the mount, and then you got the fan. There's no bolt in here, this just pressure fits in here. So this wire is going to be too long, but once I mount it, I will order the right size wire so everything looks nice and neat. I don't like, you know, these bundled ass wires everywhere. But, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is their iPads will be here, so that will be a nice area for the USB to charge their iPad and again here. So that's another reason I put those here. So what I gotta do here is, these are the exact same ones I used on my previous build, so I like them, they work. I just pre-drill a hole and then I screw this to the ceiling. So as you can see, there's a bunch of cable there. I don't want that, so I'm sure I can find shorter cables. And here, the USB is down here, unfortunately, not up here, but these have three speeds. One, two, three, and they work out perfect. So that just gets the airflow going and also white noise if the kids need it. So that's good. So now let me open these and mount these uh, white erase boards. So when we first started camping, uh, we had a, a, a newborn, I think he was six months old. So I didn't outfit his 
bed with all of the whiteboards and whatever. And then as time went on, obviously he wanted a whiteboard in his room. So, um, yeah, and it's, it's very, you know, the kids wake up at the crack of dawn, and they draw, and then they come draw with each other, and then they come look at each other's drawings. So I recommend you get one if you got kids. It's just something they can do together without you, and then they can draw something and you can come look at it. This is, you know, even though it's a bunk bed, it is their whole room on the road. So now there's various different types of boards, right? You get super expensive ones or not. These ones, I just went with the black trim um, and it is magnetic. It's really basic. And then I'm just going to double side tape it to the walls. There are the whiteboards in the same position on the wall. I put them further towards the back because they, a lot of the time my kids sit together and draw. I don't want them close to the edge. So that works out just fine. Now, I am not gonna do the stars. I will let them do that. So I'm just going to put a bunch of stars in their little cubbies. So when we go camping for the first time after the mods, they will have something to do and be excited. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the net and as well as install this baby. Now I got two nets, right? And I didn't necessarily get a net for here. Maybe I'll use it for there. I got it for there for whatever stuff we're storing under there. We never stored anything under there. I don't want to get into the habit of just bringing things for bringing things, but uh, we'll see. This also now like, you know, acts as a net because now that's mounted. So I'm really gonna just mount one net right here and see how it goes and then I'll keep this one in case we change our mind and we want another one. Let's see if it's the right size. It should be. So it comes with, let me just get it. It comes with everything you need. Screws, uh, these mount to the wall. And then it also comes with hooks for the net. Now the net is nylon and bungee. So I didn't envision the net covering the whole thing. Uh, it's just the lower portion here. And it looks like it's the right size. You know, and then also can put their little junk in here. It acts, it'll act like a little privacy window as well for them for when we're watching TV in the living room. But anyways, I'm gonna mount this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you're gonna want to find a solid place. So obviously this handle's here, so it's solid. This is the corner of a, a wall, so that should be solid because there is going to be some uh, bungee pressure. So these are double-sided tape as well as a screw. So just some extra support. Alrighty, so there's enough tension here where it will act like a barrier. Now, I guess it's figuring out where I want to put this. So the good thing is once the handle, I'll, I guess I'll, I need to figure out where the handle is. I'll put the handle here and because this is a bungee, my daughter will be able to gri grab on here and then just climb over this. I did hit a stud right here, so that's good. And obviously this is a stud. So now I'm just gonna mount these where they need to go. And the net will essentially also keep the bedding in. So let's do that. Could have gone a bit higher here, but I think a bit higher then it'll be harder for her to get in. I don't wanna remove this all the time. I don't want it to be a burden. Now, will this stop my kid? You know, I'm sure he will fall through, but it's better than nothing. What I might do, is just screw something in here. Uh, maybe pop this off or throw a screw in right here. That way it has something at the bottom to stop. So I'll figure that out. But I don't think I'm gonna do the bottom one right now. I think I'll save that for later, see how this one works out and go from there. All right, guys, this is what I ended up doing. I just moved the ladder to the outside. So that secures the base of this and then I, got one of these and I installed it right here so really it's a, a big catch net right I think if my son 
is leaning against here the pressure hopefully will wake him up but I think that's safer than nothing and here are some LED lights so I'll just put these in here this is oh sorry this is more so so they can play with it and have a little night light if they want um, this one night light I'll actually put maybe in I don't know I don't think I need it I don't read uh, maybe I'll do these ones uh, these ones are more movable I don't know I will just also put these in the box for them to screw around Alrighty, now the final mod is an impulse purchase, but I think it's going to be a good one uh, because we all like the game. So hard for me to do with one hand, so let me put you down. Alright, so I don't know, I just got dealt this ad on Facebook as per a lot of us just get ads. But why I like this one is because this was a removable. And obviously there's a slide here, so I need it removable. So let me see if there's anything special in the instructions on how to mount this. Nope, it comes with the screws. So this is just the packaging to hang it. But now we're gonna put the hook here, screw it into the wall here. I think I can screw it. I can keep it high enough for my kids and me to use and enjoy it. Really, it's just the kids. Woo! I think that was my second try. All right, so that's how this is. Uh, what's cool is this is adjustable so this actually extends more um, But the rope you don't need to cut you just push this down and you can adjust the, the string So I just double-sided tape you there's no Studs in the back here. Yeah, so what I did is I also cut this down Shorter because the slide would have hit it so now it just pressure fits in and I actually can pull it out if I need to. It's not a, a screw in anymore. So I'm just going to make sure when we play with this, this is just like a board game. We take this down and this just pops right out. And then that's how this will be. So it's also a coat hook if we need it. Nice. Alrighty, so there we have it guys. That is the bunkhouse mods done. I'm sure there's more to come. I need to put a handle on there. So I'll do that in another video and get shorter USBs for the actual fans. But today we did a good amount of work. We did the ladder, we did the net, we did the fans, we did the little vanities for the kids. Uh, they got the LEDs in there. We did the little tiki toss game and I'm going to leave the kids with some stars in the vanity. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Next video is all about the bathroom. Here is everything we do there. So we got a shower head, we got soap dispensers, we got towel racks. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff for the bathroom. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Stick around if you like this video and a bunch more to come. Until then guys, I'll see you next time.